Hey guys, welcome back. This is Defeating Hair Loss 2024. I have my boy Bobby Dunlop in the house. Thank Bobby, you, welcome back. Thanks for having me, Steve. Happy New Year, Bobby. Happy New Year to you too, Steve. Happy <laughs> New Year, everyone out there that watches these educational videos. Let's get right to it. Bobby said, hey, listen, why don't we get a couple kind of goofy things to wear and celebrate the New Year? And when he brought them in and opened them up, I said, I'll take the glasses. Yeah. There's no way I'm messing up the hair. Yeah, fair. <laughs> of, course, of course, you got more hair than I have, so, you know, I guess, you know, plus, you know, you're a little younger than me, you gotta earn your stripe. Yeah, anyway, all good. all good. Happy New Year, Bobby. Happy New Year, Steve. All right, let's get right to the point, okay? <laughs> so, one of the things like that, that doesn't bother me, but this is, again, this is just for you out there watching, is, you know, hairlines. Hairlines are my thing. Hairlines are my thing. Good hair day today, Bobby. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and I enjoy changing people's lives. Um, I had my hairline done a few years ago, and it literally, finally gave me enough courage to get on camera and talk to everybody out there with a hairline that I would feel proud about. So hairlines is where the money is, it's the money shot, it's the best return on investment. And a lot of times, you know, I get a lot of questions, you get a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. We talk about like, well, you know, why do I think like my hairline's uneven or people want something that may not be or look good on them. So I thought I'd kind of do a little role play here for you guys and kind of show you something. You got to work with me here. You're going to do a little kind of in creative, educational kind of improvisation. Is that a word? Hey, Bobby, do me a favor. Come on out here and sit in this chair right here in front of the camera. Right there. Okay, thank you very much. I'll put the old glasses on. Now, this is what I need for those out there watching to understand, okay? Um, you know, his head is not even. So we need our ruler here. And we got it somewhere in here. Yeah. So in this industry, we use a centimeter ruler. And Bobby's a great example. Now he's had two procedures in his hairline. And you all know that out there. And his hairline looks fantastic. So you got to work with me with this because he doesn't really need a hairline. So normally we would use four fingers. So we're going to make believe for this educational video that he actually has a higher forehead and needs a hairline. So we'll make believe that the four fingers, which looks really good on him, is really three fingers so that I can improvise. And that would give him a hairline right here, which we would never do because he would look really bad because it's too low. But again, this is just making this up. So when using a centimeter ruler, the doctors want to measure. They want to measure from the corner of the brow to the corner of the forehead on each side. And you can do this at home, and when you measure, you will find that from each brow, there's no perfect forehead. I mean, sorry, Bobby, but you're pretty perfect, but there's no perfect forehead. So what we wanna do is we wanna take a measurement, and we wanna kind of, this is obviously a male hairline. Now he had his temporal peaks built out, so we wanna kind of add into there, build them out really nice, and I'll slip around the camera, come around this side, and come down over here on this side and bring it down. And that, that's something that you would see in a consultation of how many graphs are needed to fill in this, fill out, the, fill out these temporal peaks. But if you took that ruler and you measured from each side, it is not the same measurement. So, the, the face is asymmetrical. The hairline's being built out the same. It's just that the face is not symmetrical. So if you put a perfectly symmetrical hairline on an asymmetrical face, something will be off. So you need to understand that. Does that make sense to you, Bob? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so I mean, that's basically what, you know, your surgeon, Dr. McGrath, did with you was to map this whole out. And that's how that's done. And this is done by the better surgeons, you know, in the world that we always talk about that are going to do this prior to your procedure. They're going to talk to you about it. They're going to go over it. I know everybody's nervous. Everybody's before Valium, before any medication, but those out there watching have to understand that if you leave your surgeon's clinic, you go back to your, your home, you're resting and you, of course you want to see the work. You'd pay a lot of money for it. And it seems like it's uneven. It's not uneven. 
it's your face is uneven. So you, you have to work with that. That doctor who's, you know, you chose, who's an awesome surgeon, and also this is 50% science, 50% art, you want to make sure that you're happy. And when you go home and see that one side is a little kind of off, it's asymmetrical on purpose. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool, cool. So I don't have any, any swabs tonight, so we're gonna have to leave that on your head for the rest no, of the show. Fine, yeah. no, I'm it's just cool. kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so listen, I hope you like this. I hope that you understand this. We'll do a little bit more on this. Um, but you can see Bobby and you can look at his comb through videos and things like that and how perfect that hairline is, but yet it's not perfect. Does that make any sense? Anyway, thank you for watching. Bobby, thank you for being my model as usual. Don't forget to like and subscribe.